Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Eric Killmonger from Black Panther. Now let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So let's move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. We're going to start on the outside. We're going to curve in and then down. Now let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside of the eye, curve up, and then out. Now on the inside, I just want to curve the frown line coming in and then up. From here, let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So on the left side, I'm just gonna step in and draw a half circle coming down and then back up towards the corner of the frown line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add some detail to the center of the mask. So in between the two frown lines, I'm gonna curve up and then down. On the ends of the curve, I wanna draw almost like a V shape coming down and in on both sides. Now I wanna go back up, I wanna leave a little space along the top. So going up to right about there. Now I'm gonna curve back in, but I wanna leave a little space in the center for one more point. Curve in toward the center. And then from these two points, we're gonna come down with a V. Now right in the center here, we're gonna step down and draw in a point. From this point, I wanna curve up and underneath the eye on the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now just below this point, we're going to step down and draw an elongated V. Starting on the left side, we're going to come down towards the center. Now we're going to go back up on the right side. Now I'm going to draw two more on either side. Starting on the left, we're going to come down. We're not going to go all the way down. Do the same thing on the right side. So it's a little bit shorter on the sides. Now we're going to pull these back up, leaving a little space along the top. Now from here, I'm just gonna fold that same curve in behind the eye. Now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and draw on the sides of the head. So on the left side of this eye, we're gonna step over, start with a point, we're gonna curve down towards the chin. So rounding out the cheek, and then coming down right in the middle. Now I'm gonna work my way back up towards the right side. up the side of the right eye. Now from the top of the cheek, I want to round out the side of the head and come up towards the ears. Starting on the left, we're going to go out. Now we're going to curve that back in. We're going to stop right about here. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Curving out the side of the head. Now we're going to start to pull that in towards the same height that we have on the left. From here, we're going to curve out the inside edge of the ear. So from the left side, we're going to go up and out towards the left. Then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're curving the opposite direction in behind the head. Start on the left side, we're gonna start by going down and then we'll just pull that in near the bottom. From the tip of the ear, I'll draw two angled lines coming straight in towards the top of the head. So we'll start on the left, I'm just gonna angle down and in with a straight line. Now let's connect these two points with the curve for the top of the head. Starting on the left, we'll go up in the middle, and we'll bring it back down on the right. Let's add some more detail to the face. So we start with the chin first. So in the center here, we're gonna step all the way up, start with a point. Now we're gonna come down with an angle towards the left, leaving a little space along the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw two more points on either side of equal length, going up and out. Now we're gonna pull this down all the way down towards the bottom of the chin. Let's add a stripe along the side of the cheek. Starting from the top of the cheek here, we're gonna curve down underneath the eye. Let's pull that into right about there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Curving down underneath the eye and then in. From here, we're gonna do a hard turn coming down in the opposite direction towards the bottom of the chin. Starting left, we'll curve down and then in. Now we're going to trace this curve along the bottom. Stepping down, we'll just leave an even space gap all the way in. Do the same thing on the right. Now from here, I want to taper down towards the bottom point. So curving in and then down. 
Let's add some spots along the bottom edge of the eye. We're gonna start on the left side, just beside the eye here, we'll, we'll add a circle. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna work our way down in towards the inside. So stepping down, draw another circle on either side. And we'll continue this. We'll probably fit two more. So one directly underneath the eye. And then we'll add one more on the inside. Now let's move up and add some detail to the top of the head. So we're going to start on the side of the head here. We're going to follow that same curve of the eyelid coming in. So we start out here. We're going to curve down and in to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, curve up and then out. From the inside, we're going to draw two short angle lines coming in. Now we're going to go straight up about halfway up the forehead. Let's trace these lines along the top back towards the side of the head. But starting at the top, we're going to start at the point. I'm just going to taper down and out. Now we're just going to follow this with an even space gap all the way around. Now I'm going to step up and just repeat that same curve. So from this point, we're going to step up. Follow the same curve going in to right about there. Now I'm gonna curve back out, aiming towards this point in the ear. But we're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna go up to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the inside. Now going back to the center, we're gonna curve up and out, aiming towards the top point of that ear. Now we're gonna taper this back down. Starting from the top, curve down. And then we'll go to the outside. Let's add a few spots along the top here. So we're going to start on the inside. We'll add a circle. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to fit two more on either side. So stepping out, one, and then two. So now that we've drawn in the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start with the collar first. So on the left side, I'm gonna curve down in the middle and then back up on the right. Let's add that first spike in the center here. So on the left side of center, we're gonna angle down and in towards the middle. We'll go back up on the right side. Now we're gonna add two more spikes angled outwards on either side. So stepping out, angle this outwards towards the left and then taper this back up. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna tuck the bottom edge of the collar underneath these spikes. So let's step over towards the left, curve down and in behind the first spike, in between, and then we'll work our way towards the right, underneath the head. Now from the collar, we're gonna step out and draw on the side of the body. So on the left side, we're gonna step out, curve out, and then down towards the hip, move over towards the right and do the same thing, towards the same height. Now let's add some detail to the body. From the hip, we're just going to draw a short curve coming in and then down. And then from here, we're going to curve up and then out. Now we're going to take this top point, taper down towards the bottom, and then back out towards the outside of the hip. So tapering down to right about here, curving out towards the side of the body. Now we're gonna add a couple curved spikes coming in towards the center of the body. So starting on the left side, we'll curve in and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now from the inside, I wanna taper out towards the outside of the body. So let's start on the left side. I'm just gonna taper this to the side of the body. Now we're gonna do that one more time just below. So starting on the left side, we're gonna step down, curve in and down. And then again, we're gonna taper to the side of the body. Starting from the tip. Let's add a couple points along the center of the body here. So starting in the middle, start with a short line going across. Now from either end, I wanna taper in towards the center point. Coming 
down towards the middle. We can do that one more time, stepping down, start with a short line going across, the left will come straight down towards the center, and then on the right. Now let's continue working our way down towards the legs. So in the middle, we're gonna step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then down. Now from the left side of this curve, I'm gonna step in, curve down and out towards the left heel. We'll do the same thing on the right, stepping in, curve out, and then down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. So from heel to toe, we're gonna to curve down and then back up. Now from the toe, I'm gonna to curve the top of the foot, curve down, aiming towards the heel. But we're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna go up, aim towards the heel. We're just gonna stop right about there. Now we're gonna angle up and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve the top of the foot. We'll come down to right about there. Then we're gonna angle up and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's go back to the hips. We're gonna curve the outside of the leg coming down towards the top of the foot. Starting on the left, go out, and then we'll curve it back down. Let's add some claw detail to the bottom of the foot. So on the left side, from the toe, we're gonna to step in, we curve over and up. We're gonna taper that back down. We're gonna do that two more times. Stepping over, curve up and over, and then taper that down. We'll do that one more time. Now let's take that and flip it over on the right side. Start from the toe, we'll step in. And one last time. Now I'm gonna take this curve and this straight line, just duplicate it right up above to create a trim. Come down and straight up. We we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's step up and draw another trim. So from this outside, we're gonna step up, curve over towards the right and then down. We're gonna step up and just trace that out along the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start from the inside, curve up and then out and then duplicate that right up above. Now we're gonna add one more trim along the top of the leg. So from the lower torso, we're gonna step down on the inside, curve up and out towards the side of the leg. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's trace that out along the bottom. Stepping down, and then the same thing on the right. Now let's move up and draw on the arms. I'm gonna start about halfway along the side of the body. We're gonna curve down and out towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right. So let's line this up. Now going back to the left side, we're gonna start with a thumb. We're gonna do a little half circle. Now at the end of the circle, we're gonna draw a bracket. Now at the bottom of the thumb, we we'll come around underneath the bracket and then go up for the first finger. Now we're gonna step down, curve out, and then up for the second finger. Now the third finger is gonna go around and then up towards the shoulder. We're gonna stop right about here. Starting on the side of this finger, we're gonna go around. Now we're just gonna to start to pull that into right about there. I wanna bump out the shoulder. So from here, we're just gonna go up and then pull that back in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna start with the thumb, a little half circle. Now at the end of that half circle, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna go around the bracket and then go up. We're gonna step down, draw on the second finger, curving up. Now the third finger again is gonna go around up towards the shoulder to the same height. Start by going out. I'm gonna pull that into right about there to the same height as we have on the left. Then from here we're gonna bulge out the shoulder and pull that in towards the side of the head. Now let's add some detail to the arms. I'm gonna start from this point of the shoulder and curve in and then down towards the inside of the arm. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're just gonna trim this out along the bottom. So stepping down. Follow that same curve going in. Let's move down towards the hands and draw in some of that claw detail. So from the wrist, we're gonna curve down towards the center of the first finger. Now I'm gonna taper this back up and in. We're gonna come down towards the center of the second finger, coming down to right about there, and then we'll taper this back up and out. We'll do that one more time. On top of the third finger, come down, now I'm just gonna curve this back up towards the side of the hand. 
Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, curve down towards the first finger, taper back up, come down towards the second finger, taper then up, and then finally the third finger, and we'll pull this up towards the side of the hand. Now from the wrist, I just want to step up and curve over towards the side of the arm. Curving up and then out. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add a little bit more detail to the shoulder. So we're going to start on the side of the shoulder here. I'm going to taper across and up towards the head, leaving a little bit of space. And I'm going to curve this back down. So tapering it back down. Now I'm going to pull this back up underneath the head. So tapering that line going up. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Starting at the base of the shoulder. Taper up. We're going to hook that back down. And then one final time, we're just going to go up in behind the head. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Eric Killmonger from Black Panther. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.